Welcome back to Breakfast. Being self-employed means being your own boss and perhaps having some more freedom, but it could also mean you're paying too much tax. With us now for some tips to ensure you aren't one of them is personal financial trainer Hannah McQueen from Enable Me. Good morning to you, Hannah. You work with a lot of small businesses and sole traders. How many of the, those that you're encountering are paying too much tax? At least 90% of the people that I deal with are paying too much tax when I first meet them. They're either um, uh, not claiming the things that they should claim or they have opportunities that they're not even aware of and their accountant's not making them aware of them to pay less tax legitimately. So ultimately they pay more than what they should. So this isn't about tax evasion, it's simply not knowing how best to structure your affairs. Oh, exactly. It's completely legitimate and I think that we're all allowed to minimise our tax legitimately and there are so many opportunities to do that yet most of us don't do them properly or the accountants aren't executing them correctly. What are some of those opportunities? Well, I think that when you're self-employed, you usually have an opportunity to push what would normally be your private debt, so debt on your home, on your mortgage, into your business to make the interest tax deductible. That, that's an easy win. And the, I think the problem with most Kiwis is they think if you're going to try and pay less tax, you need to spend more money in the business so that you get a tax deduction. But that's kind of a false economy because you're spending a dollar to save 30 cents. You're better off trying to push more costs into the business that you were going to have to incur anyway, structure things the most efficient way to then legitimately minimise tax without having to spend money to achieve that outcome. I know some of the small uh, businesses that I speak to, uh, one of their big bugbears is provisional tax and when it kicks yep. in in that second year of operation it can send a lot of companies to the wall. So how can you yep. better manage that process? Well, I think for a lot of people, provisional tax is a killer. But if you're not in a position to be able to pay your provisional tax bill, that suggests that you're not running your business properly. You're not managing or planning your tax properly. Because ultimately, you've collected that money that is, should be sitting in your bank account to pay your tax. So if it's not there, it's gone walkabout. And we need to understand where or how that has happened. You also talk a little bit about the psychology of cashies. I guess this is one of the things mm -hmm. a lot of uh, sole mm -hmm. traders do, a bit of money under the table, but it doesn't necessarily get you ahead. Well, I think psychologically you get a cashy, so it's almost kind of free money. You're so adamant that you don't want to put it through the books, so you just you fritter it away on stuff. It doesn't actually position you to get ahead faster. So if anything, if that money was coming into the mix, you're gaining an extra 30% of income that you're not having to pay tax on, but it's not positioning you any better off financially. So I think most people are more concerned about trying to keep it under the table, and as a result they just they lose the money. It gets lost. Fritted. So if you're a, a sole trader or a small business owner and you're thinking I'm probably one of those 90% paying too much tax, what should your first move be? Go and see your accountant? Oh, uh, yes it should be but I guess if, if you genuinely think you're paying too much tax and you normally have a feel for that, it could be that your accountant's not the right person to help you. A lot of people complain that um, their accountant simply tells them what they have done last year and doesn't tell them what they need to do this year to improve things. So if you're not getting a good interaction or good um, strategic planning sessions from your accountant, then it might be a good time to think about changing accountants. Well, thank you very much for your time and those tips. That is Hannah McQueen of Personal Financial Trainer from a